Dealing with a cancer diagnosis can be a hard pill to swallow for both the patient, their family, and friends. To help make treatment easier on everyone, the Foley Cancer Center at Rutland Regional is working one-on-one -on -one with patients during the transition. Last week, Access was invited to visit the center and speak with its staff about how they're trying to make patients smile and offer support. Today, Dr. Richard Lovett, the radiation oncologist, joins us to talk about how the cancer team works together to provide the best overall care and how a relatively new machine, now two years old, is helping make the process more accurate. Inside Rutland Regional, one department is proving its patients come first. The Foley Cancer Center is making treatment and how to deal with a rough diagnosis an easier process. Our area that we cover can go up to Middlebury and Orwell, uh, Sudbury in that area, it can go down to Manchester, it can go over past Killington or into New York State. Uh, you know, our closest hospitals that uh, uh, treat cancer patients are, you know, around our periphery. And, you know, really there's no reason the patient needs to, you know, uh, go a long distance for the most common cancers. And so, you know, often we will be able to treat them here, but if they need to go elsewhere, we'll be able to help them arrange that. Uh, we have great relationships with Fletcher Allen and Dartmouth, uh, as well as the Boston hospitals, New York City hospitals. So, you know, wherever the patient needs to be treated, we can make those arrangements. Two years ago, Rutland Regional Medical Center purchased a new state-of-the-art linear accelerator, the machine used for radiation treatment. The addition of this machine and renovation of the radiation wing inside the center is calming patients' nerves and making the treatment more precise. This machine allows us to do uh, many things. Image-guided radiation therapy, so we can do CT scans or x-rays every day to uh, ensure that we're treating the proper position within the patient. Uh, we can do um, intensity modulated radiation, which means that we are constantly varying the intensity of the beam as it uh, penetrates into the patient so we can shape the radiation area within the patient much more precisely. While the new technology ensures a more accurate treatment, for patients the feeling inside the radiation room is calm. With a night scene on the ceiling, dimming lights, and the patient's choice of music, Treatment doesn't seem so scary as it did years ago. A major shift in treatment, thanks to this machine, is the capability of taking daily images before treatment. When I first came here 22 years ago, a lot of radiation therapy was, you know, you took an image once a week and you verified that you were treating the right position. And, uh, you know, during the course of the week, a lot could vary, the patient could, uh, you know, change in shape, uh, you know, their tumor might move, and you would only know that when you took an image at the end of the week. Now, every day before the treatment, we can take an image and we can verify the position of the patient. Uh, so, you know, things like that have really dramatically changed. This linear accelerator can also do other things, including gating. What this means is a patient with lung cancer may now accurately have a better radiation treatment. As you breathe, your lung cancer might bob up and down in your chest. Uh, this machine can treat you in a certain part of the respiratory cycle to make sure that the radiation beams are as small as possible. So uh, many things that we couldn't do before. The linear accelerator is making it more possible for patients dealing with a cancer diagnosis to get treatment locally rather than driving an hour and a half away. Still, Dr. Lovett says the great part about being on the team here at Rutland is the amazing relationship his department has developed with area hospitals. There are certain types of radiation that I don't do. Um, like for instance, pediatric patients. We don't treat them here. Uh, patients with leukemia, we don't treat them here. So there are certain patients that we still, you know, like if I see them in consultation, I will send them. Uh, but with this machine, more and more we can treat the more common cancers, the more common presentations right here in Rutland and you know, have results that are similar to Fletcher Allen and Dartmouth.
Outside the radiation lab, patients get to know nurses and the administration staff on a personal level. Seeing the same faces day after day makes walking in for chemo or radiation a little less stressful. The welcoming atmosphere at the Foley Cancer Center is all part of the Medical Center's mission. You know, it goes along with the philosophy of the hospital, you know, to get high-tech care, the hometown touch, you know, really to be treated by people you know in the community, people who live here, people that, that you know, take care of you where, you know, where you live. When you have cancer, it's a hardship to travel a long distance. Uh, it can be done. Uh, most university hospitals have places like Hope Lodges and things like that, but if, you know, if you have cancer, you want to be at home. You want to be with your loved ones. And so for the majority of patients, we can treat them here.